everybody, this is Gabe. I'm going to quick show you a little bit about how on Worship Orange to add a new page. So this is a great place to start. We're at the home screen and I'm logged out. So I'm here as a guest. We're going to um, add a brand new page. I didn't have anything in mind, but let's just go to um, uh, notice it says join this wiki or recent changes manage wiki it does this button will turn into an add new page if you're logged in so I'm gonna sign in I worship orange and username and password and now see this button here became a new page there's just a few things that wikispaces does to as a security sort of precaution they don't allow you to upload a file or make a brand new page without just a simple login. You can create a simple login for free quite easily. Okay, so new page. I'm going to hit new page. Give it a name. This one's going to be a, uh, a demo. I'm just going to call it the demo page. I have the opportunity to uh, use a template. You guys can create your own templates if you'd like to as well. I'm going to use the uh, new song template. And we're going to tag this right away as a song. Um, even though it's not, it's just going to be a demo. I'm going to hit create. This gives us a brand new page that we can create a song in. On this page, the um, the template that you're looking at here just kind of has like a sort of a grid that help, makes it a little easier to remember what to put in. So song name would be, um, do something like, open the eyes of my heart. I'm not, I'm not going to spell everything around. I'm just going to whiz through here. Bye. Paul Blush, and then uh, I don't have an MP3 that I want to put up here, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Treating it just like I would a Word document. Um, this is a YouTube link, so I'm going to quick buzz over maybe to YouTube and find. Uh, I'm going to find on YouTube a good version of "Open the Eyes of My Heart." Now this this page is already up on Worship Orange. Open the eyes of my heart. I'd find it. Oh, okay, here's the one we want. Since it's just a test, I'm not going to be real uh, detailed. So, oh, this is a great version. I love this version, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to grab the embed code because that's how Wikispaces, you, the embed code is here. Wikispaces uses this code to put it right in your page. So I'd go to this. This is a YouTube video section. I'd go up to widget, and I don't want a Wikispace widget. And I don't want just an audio widget. I don't want a calendar widget. I haven't even used the calendar widget yet. I want to go to video. And here's the YouTube version. So I just paste the embed code right in there and hit save. Now my YouTube video is up there. And then I go, okay, uh, I want to add a chord chart. Uh, so I go up here to file. I, I just put the, just to go backwards and show you real slow. I put the cursor where I want the chord chart to go. And I'll hit file. And these are all the files that are already uploaded on Wikispaces. An external image, I don't want any of that. What I want is to upload a file. This is a button that will only appear if you're logged in. Another thing just like the new page. Anyway, upload file from my computer and I'm going to go over to um, documents. I'll go into my chord charts. Where's my chord charts? Church songs. Go down to open the eyes of my heart. Document. Okay, there we go. I'll open the eyes of my heart and the key of E. Hit select. It's going to take just a second and upload it, and there it is. So when I click on Open the Eyes of My Heart now, click to Embed File or to Link File. So I'm going to click to Embed File, and that's and look what it did. It put the, oh, did it? Oh, see, somehow I got my cursor back at the beginning. But that's okay. I can treat it just like a Word document, and I can highlight it and move it right back down to where it's supposed to be, Chord Chart. So I put chord chart in the key of E. There's a chord chart in the key of E. Now I could also add this same file. I don't have to re-upload it, but I could take this file and move this to link. Link to file. And just to show you the difference, here's what happens when a link to file. I click uh, link to file and it's going to... Oh, it did it again, didn't it? Let me just, just for the sake of... Let me get my cursor right on here blinking. Hit file. Link to file. Open the eyes of my heart. And that creates a link. Those are two different ways to display it. Um, so when I upload an MP3 or something like that, sometimes I'll embed 
the MP3 just to play in the website. And sometimes I will give it a link so that people can download it. And that's just to your, your discretion. So look, we got a YouTube video. We've got um, Open the Eyes of My Heart as a pages document embedded, and it's got the little icon. Or we got it next door, right next to it. Um, I've got, boy, I've got a whole lot of tags in this. Oh, I see the template's wrong. It's got a lot of tags in it. I'm going to delete all these tags and, and tell you just what the essential tags are. Essential tags for a song is song. When I add the song tag, it adds it to this list of songs. If I added, if I had leader, leaders tag, it would add it to the list of worship leaders that we have. But it's not a worship leader page, it's a song page. So I'm just going to leave song. But I did put a chord chart on here, so I'll tag it chord. And I'll tag it chart. And, um, and that's all we have for now. If I add a reason file from my computer, I would add it the same way. And then I would tag it reason. You see? And um, that's how that works. That's a simple way to start a new page and get some content up and rolling. You can That shows you how to do a YouTube video and how to add a chord chart. So... Uh, feel free to just start a new page, add your own original song, add um, a song that we don't have listed. Yeah, feel free to jump right in. All right, thanks for coming by.